hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper for third sem mathematics uh, for the CSE stream students right so we have discussed uh, so many varieties of problems from the model question paper you can watch uh, separately I have provided the link in the description box okay today I will try to wind up this model fourth I have completed all the questions from the model question paper second so last question is pending now so this is a random sample of 10 boys had the following IQs 70, 120, 110, 101, 88, 83, 95, 98, 107, 100. Okay. Does this data support the assumption of a population mean IQ of 100 at 5% level of significance? Okay. Note uh, this is a T at 5% level is given by 2.262 for 9 degrees of freedom. He has It has given directly the T square distribution value over here. Okay. So no need to go through the distribution table of T. Uh, it has given directly the value of T over here. Okay. So let me try to solve this particular question. Okay. So what is given in the problem that is 10 IQ of 10 boys. Okay. So I can write here IQ of 10 boys is given that is 70, 120, 110, 101, 88, 83, 95, 98, 107 and 100 right so I can write it as x then x bar means uh, what we call the mean okay which is equal to 1 by n summation of x means summation of these terms divided by total number of terms okay so i can write over here is 1 upon n how much is the n value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so n is how much 10 then multiplied by summation of these terms so 70 plus 120 plus 110 plus 101 plus 88 plus 83 plus 95 plus 98 plus 107 plus 100 which is equal to 972 so 972 is the summation which is equal to 972 divided by 10 you will get 97.2 okay this is the mean value now uh, variance I can write down here sigma square it is also denoted by s square so no need to be confused I can write s square or sigma square okay there is the formula 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of x minus x bar whole square this is the formula as I earlier told you this module is uh, very easy to pass very easy to uh, get a score 20 out of 20 just because there are formulas which you should remember only then putting down the values in the formula that is it okay only thing is you should remember formulas so 1 divided by uh, n minus 1 summation of x minus x bar square so I can write down here 1 divided by n how much is the n 10 minus 1 summation of this term so I can just write down x x value is 70 minus x bar we have calculated that is 97.2 so 97.2 whole square plus then 120 minus this 97.2 likewise you have to go through this is the summation of x minus x bar 70 minus this one 120 minus this one like that you have to write down okay plus 110 minus 97.2 whole square plus 101 point sorry 101 minus 97.2 whole square plus 88 minus 97.2 whole square plus 83 minus 97.2 whole square plus 95 minus 97.2 whole square plus 98 minus 97.2 whole square right plus 107 point sorry minus 97.2 whole square plus 100 minus 97.2 whole square bracket close okay so you need to calculate this one in the KLC so if I calculate here it will take time the video will get long so I will directly write down the values over here so 1 by 9 10 minus 1 is 9 multiplied by when you just sum up these terms you will get approximately 1833.6 okay so sigma square I can directly write over here as 203.73 when you calculate this one and finally sigma or s sometimes it is also represented as s uh, so whatever your teachers have taught in the colleges so you should go through accordingly okay s so s or sigma is equal to under root of 203.73 okay so sigma is equal to 
root of 203.73 which is equal to 14.27 so 14.27 is your sigma value okay now it is given in the question that is your mean population population mean iq of 100 so i can write down here mu is equal to 100 okay so we have we have the formula another formula that is t is equal to x bar minus mu upon sigma by root n okay t is equal to what is the x bar value we have calculated right 97.2 so 97.2 minus mu is given that is 100 divided by sigma value we have calculated that is 14.27 divided by root of n n is the 10 10 boys are there okay so t is equal to let me calculate this one my dear friends so this is your 97.2 minus 100 divided by this is your 14.27 divided by root of 10 which is equal to minus 0 0.62 so minus 0 0.62 but in the question it is given see here note t at 5 percent level of significance that c t 0 0.05 is given by 2.262 but this value is less than this one okay so i can write here that is t is equal to 0. Point, minus 0 0.62 is less than t of 0 0.05 which is equal to 2.262 therefore i can write down this data supports the assumption of the population mean okay if it is uh, suppose greater than 2.262 then that is not the case so this data doesn't support the assumption so you can write down in the conclusion that therefore the given data given data support the assumption support the assumption of a population population mean okay so i hope you, uh, it is clear to you people my dear friends only what i do uh, what i did in this problem that is uh, your s square formula you should remember that is one divided by n minus one summation of x minus x bar whole square okay then this formula t is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by under root of n only this much is the requirement for this particular problem my dear friends just share this video to all your friends uh, who are struggling with the mathematics subject and thanks for watching my video.